Good day, everyone, and welcome back to History Recolored. Uh, this particular day is going to be a reaction video, okay? And I'm going to do a deep dive into the American Civil War. And uh, we're checking out a fantastic and fascinating video that was put together by the American Battlefield Trust. And that video is called Robert E. Lee's Last Day in Uniform, Civil War in Richmond. I'm really excited about this one because it gives us a glimpse into a historical crucial moment and it was the last day one of the most iconic Confederate generals, Robert E. Lee, wore his uniform. It's emotional, it's reflective, it's a moment that marks the end of a brutal and defining conflict. So let's jump right in and see what insights this uh, video brings us. Now, one thing I did want to mention is that the narrator of this video He's doing an excellent job with his presentation and he's very knowledgeable, okay? Now, uh, the tone is set. Hopefully you can feel the weight of the moment, okay? The city of Richmond is in ruins. The Confederacy has been crumbled. And Lee, once the powerful face of the South, is surrendered. So this is history unfailing, unfolding right before your eyes. Uh, Let's watch it, and I'll be back at the end. Now owned by the Home Builders Association of Virginia, and they've given us special permission to see this house today. And uh, just keep that in mind that this is not something that's normally open to the public, but is for a special today. Now I'd like for you to consider April of 1865. Robert E. Lee has evacuated Petersburg and Richmond. He's taken his army all the way out to Appomattox, and he's surrendered that army to Ulysses Grant. It's safe to say he's had a pretty bad week. Lee gets on his horse and rides back to Richmond. And he's going to arrive in Richmond on April 15th, 1865. Students of the Civil War don't need to be reminded of that anniversary, but it's the day that Lincoln died. Now that news was embargoed here in Richmond until the 16th, probably so that Robert E. Lee, who was expected to arrive here on April 15th, could get here without any fear of mob violence or pandemonium that might have taken hold upon news of Lincoln's death. So the U.S. authorities know something that Lee doesn't. Now imagine arriving on the Manchester side of the river and seeing for the first time Richmond in ruins, the city that you'd fought so long and so hard, crossing that pontoon bridge and riding into a wrecked town, now under Union control. Riding through the streets, people stopped and tipped their hats and watched as Robert E. Lee came through the city dismounted his horse right here and climbed the steps behind me. Knowing full well, as he did, and turned to face the crowd and tipped his cap one last time, that upon entering those doors, he would no longer be General Robert E. Lee. You can imagine as he entered the house, hugged his wife, and took off his uniform for the last time. Now imagine having done that, hearing that knock at the door, and a Union staff officer informs you that President Lincoln is dead. Whatever idea you had of what tomorrow was going to bring, it just changed radically. What's going to become of the South? What's going to become of you? Are you going to be charged for treason? And in the wake of Lincoln's assassination, all those questions were being asked. But Lee had an idea. And it was to show the world something important. And he's going to conspire with a famous photographer to make that happen. The photographer and the general are going to work together. Lee is going to put his uniform on one last time. His son and his staff officer will join him right back here behind this house. One of the most famous photographs of the war was taken. And as Matthew Brady set up his camera, just over there, Lee, his son, and his staff officer posed in their uniforms one last time. Other important factors, you'll notice this distinctive crack in the door, which can be seen to this day that shows up in these photographs. And you can even see the very same bricks and count them and place yourself literally in the footsteps of Robert E. Lee. 
What greater message could there be sent to all corners of the globe if Matthew Brady is photographing Robert E. Lee in his Confederate uniform in Richmond, Virginia, this war is over. In an amazing way, seeing this conspiracy between a general and an artist to make that art with that message that has gone around the world until this day. Almost every one of you watching has seen this door before. Without knowing it, you've been receiving that message ever since. And it all started right where we're standing. Wow. That video really, if you think about it, really sets a tone and it's a very powerful video. It makes you really reflect on the human side of history, okay? How even figures like Robert E. Lee, who seems even larger than life, were just people making impossible choices, all right, in impossible situations. Love them or hate them. Uh, this moment was a turning point, not just for Lee, but for the entire country, right? Uh, and this video does such a great job of capturing that. So what do you think? I'd like you to let me know in the comments below. Was this a side of Robert E. Lee you hadn't thought about before? What do you think about how the American Battlefield Trust portrayed this moment? Drop your thoughts below, please. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more history. So from History Recolored, this is Papa, and have a great day.